Hello and welcome back to Never Start a Land War in Northeast Asia. So we are um we're getting close to our objectives, like really close to our objectives. We just need to get a very tiny amount more of Eastern Steps. So Eastern Steps here is this amount of land. We need to get Kochko and we need to get Gurgan. And it's something that we could maybe achieve very soon. So my plan is when we hit below 50% threat, so that means other religious groups will not band together. What we're going to do is we're going to declare war on Gurgan and we're going to declare war on Kochko. We can actually maybe do this now. No, we can't do this now. The reason we can't do this now, i just remembering here. We have to do it so that Kochko does not join in the Gurgan war or Gurgan does not join in the Kochko war, basically. So, once we get below 50, we can declare war on both of them. We take this bit of land and I think we take this bit of land. I think this is all part of the same duchy. I remember right it's all part of this yeah so we can take all of that in one war we can take this in one war that's the end of that those wars that's fine then we disband our troops we break our truce we declare war on gurgan for these lands and and then that is us that's us got it so basically that's all we need to do we just need to do that tiny amount of uh, extra stuff we got a peasant revolt there's actually enough um, stuff. There's enough revolt risk for a peasant's revolt up here. What's going on in Scotland? Things are falling apart. Um, we could raise up our own men. Let's do that. We haven't done that in a while. Uh, you know what? We'll lead the army ourselves. What could go wrong? We'll go beat up this guy. There we go. We arrived at private rooms. we got some prestige. Patrols can marry. We'll send that off. Cool. Right. We have killed the army. Uh, we'll bring out the board again. We're going to play some more board games. Great. And he won this time. Unf unfortunate. Must have cheated. Right. We'll head back over here. Do you have any more retinue we can get? Nope. Okay. Well, we could get another skirmisher, but we're not going to. Uh, any of this important to us? Not really. Castle infrastructure is the only one I'd vaguely want, but I don't really care about that too much anymore. Right. Cool. Uh, we have Sunni rebels. Where are they? Uh, they are... That's the wrong one. Wait, do we have Sunni rebels? I mean, I know it said we had rebels, but I don't think we do. Oh no, is this is this army. Okay. They just spawned on top of another army. Uh, we're not going to lead. We'll put Emond in charge. We'll put... Um, Sigur in charge. And we'll put Ulfdir in charge. Okay. Right. Browsing is over. Great. Oh, wait. Uh, I missed the... They didn't say the normal stuff there, but that's fine. Well, we'll leave that army there. Uh, we have more people in our court. Do we get any money if we banish them? No. No, we should do. We should probably bring this army over to where we want them to go. Okay, so... We've become a paragon of virtue. I actually got us a title as well, as well as a lot of opinion and learning. Got us the holy. Fantastic. Next one we're going to go for is Grimanea, I think. Uh, yes. Now, our son, we can introduce him to the realm straight away. Cool. And that'll get him extra opinion if he takes charge, I think. Uh, we need more, we need more, more boats. Uh, anybody still boats? I think Norway has boats. Yeah, he has enough boats for us. Cool. Are we raiding somewhere still? Yeah, we're still raiding Rome. Okay, cool. I just wanted to check. Um, Doddy Snorri of uh, Bentham is a renowned, godly, and learned vassal of yours. After being, after having introduced himself to Tolier, uh, Snorri approaches you with an offer. He's willing to spend some time teaching him for a favor. Learning for a favor? Sure, why not? That's fine. Um, he presents himself with grace and also manages to impress Thordier. Fantastic. He, he has become close friends with uh, Sunni Anderson. Okay. Right. Uh, we're going over here, I think, to Cumania. To Cumania. He spills a um, beverage on Snorri Stews. Not good. Okay. There's a 20,000 man army walking at us here. Um, they will arrive on the 23rd of August. We will leave on the 25th. 
Damn. We're gonna get caught, aren't we? Yup. Retreat, retreat, retreat. There we go. We're, we're on the boats. It's fine. Right. Um... A marshal for a favor? Uh, we'll take it, yeah. Cool. Do we want to raid here? I think they have some men raised already. We can get some money, though. How, how big are these armies? Not very. You know what? We'll, we'll see how big their armies are, and then we'll see whether we want to raid it any further. We might just want to skim off the top here. Uh, he spilt uh, beverages on Gunnar's shoes. Oh, no. Yeah, we'll just skim off the top, and then we'll leave. Um, this person has become a scholarly theologian. Okay, she's in someone else's court. No, she's in our court. We can take her as a concubine, no? Yeah, cool. We'll take her. That'll work for me. Um, I've done my best to groom uh, Tolrir into a worthy heir. Good. Let's get on these boats. And leave. Right down here, we got some money. This one has a ton of money on it. Okay, cool. Let's grab it. We can shut the gates. How are epidemics looking in our realm? Mm, they're not really. Okay. That's fine. We'll head down here. Um, do we want to spend money to get prestige and tax modifier? Of course. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, this guy's finished it. Our half brother's finished his education. He's a thrifty clerk. Okay. Um, you look, and we get to choose whether he wants brawny or brave. He wants brawny. Almost certainly. Right. Uh, we'll get a lot off the top here. That's a lot of just free loot that we, we've just grabbed here. Okay. Uh, King of Scotland likes us. That's great. He's 81 opinion of us. Right. Um, any of the rest here worth money? This one is. We'll move one along. Grab what we can. Oh, Byzantines are coming to get us. Uh, we'll go to the feast, definitely. You want, a, you want a marriage? You want our courtier to marry this guy? Sure. Why not? Right, opinion has improved with Scotland. Great. Um, let's see what we got here. Who doesn't like us? Um, Burgundland doesn't like us. Okay, go improve relations. Uh, go improve relations. There we go. Cool. Right down here, we're just going to leave this bit before the Byzantines think about, you know, causing trouble. In fact, if the Byzantines are over there with their army, we should be able to sneak in here and grab some extra stuff. Tolier has Indulgent Wastrel as their, uh, yeah, as their, uh, as a learning thing. That's not good. Do want to be ambitious or cruel? Definitely ambitious. He became cruel anyway. We filled Gruminaire. One of those situations where you didn't want to tell the truth in case it would hurt the person, but at the same time, honesty is a virtue. Do you want honest or deceitful? We want honest, I think. Yeah. Did we get it? Nope. Okay. That's fine. Uh, new ambition. Yeah. Uh, see the realm prosper, I guess. Uh, threat is still at 55%. It's gonna take a while for it to drop. Not gonna get any negative traits to uh, make our daughter better. Right, time to see uh, siege Constantinople. Range marriage between this guy and this person. Sure, why not? We will uh, definitely, at the very least, take the loot bar here. Gunir has made my uh, half sister better. Fantastic. Not gonna do that. That event is really bad for us right now. Get all the money we can here. That was great. That's so much money. Uh, did the boats ever arrive over here? They did. Right. Yeah, get off the boats. You head back over here. Actually, there's only 20 boats. We can probably just disband it. Yeah, we get half of them back anyway. Right, you head over here. Back over to this one. Well, we'll keep sieging Constantinople. We become good friends with the King of Ireland. Good. Um, although the siege is going really slowly, I think we'll just ditch it. We already got most of the money. And we actually, we have about 2,000 gold. Let's keep the information to ourselves. I think it might be time to head back home and then release and re-raise. Cool. Let's head back. 
I think that's our closest route. Although, if it's taking us that route round, we might want to just head here. Maybe that'll work. Uh, recruit a court physician. Sure. Let's see if we get anybody. That's court physician. Cool. Uh, our heir is not married. We should get him married. I'm just going to choose it from here. Because I don't really care. So, let's see. Genius. We have a genius. You will definitely do. Right, there we go. Perfect. Scouts inform you of the most skilled physician residing in a nearby village. Even though he lacks any formal schooling, is supposedly a raging alcoholic. The villagers swear he has been able to cure any ailment afflicting them. Um, sure. We'll take it. Right. Uh, that's the patrol all done. This army will move up here. And then we'll get all of our money. We're going to be so rich. We're going to get so much prestige as well. Yeah. We are actually rolling in cash right now. Okay. Disband. Disband. What's our threat level? 54. Okay. Every time I check it, I'm like, maybe it's not that high. And it's always that high. Uh, we've almost got enough to get next castle infrastructure level. Nothing can be built there. Just think if anything can be built in any of our holdings. Uh, we can build barracks. I mean, there's not really much point in upgrading our base holdings because, um, I mean, we're, we're not using them. But we'll, we'll upgrade them anyway because we have the money. And it does kind of deter factions and things. So, there we go. Uh, cool. We'll just build them anyway. That's fine. Uh, we need to wait for our military to reinforce, didn't we? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. We'll, we'll wait for it to reinforce. We have a son. We've named him Arnfast. Okay. Right. We've almost got our retinue together. Gurgan's being sieged by... Kochko. Oh, no. That's not good. Um, We almost want to join in on the other side of that war. Like, we almost want to offer to defend. Uh, we can't, though. Wait. Who's being attacked? Holy War for Backlash. For Backlash. Is that this lit? Yeah, it's this bit. Why can't I offer to join your war? You are a, um... You are my religion, and you are nearby me. Hmm. I would have thought I'd be able to offer to join the war. Guess not. Okay. Well, that's annoying. If Kochko take that land... Actually, that's fine if Kochko take that land. We don't care about that land. Um... Oh! As you ponder ways to improve your realm, court physician Ingolf approach you with an idea. I follow here. If you were to introduce the system of provincial apothecaries, the health of your subjects would improve significantly. In turn, they are sure to be more productive. Sure. Well, that reminds me. We do have a money sink. We have our hospital. Our hospital is a great, mo a, a fantastic money sink. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll take um. We'll take translation house. There we go. Fine. Right. Back over here. Uh, get these guys merged up. I was thinking that was a worry that Kochka was taking land from Gurgen. But actually I don't care because they're just taking land from Gurgen that like we don't care about. So it's like, okay, whatever. Uh, we'll accept this, I think. Oh yes, this is the patrol that we set up. So we'll definitely accept that. Uh, gold or prestige. Definitely get taken the gold. Right. Merge up. While well, passing judgment onto criminals from the safety of your throne, a young noble is brought before you. You quickly come to the conclusion the man is indeed guilty. Contaming him might not be the wisest choice, as if as he is if as he is of noble birth. If you were to pardon the man, he might prove himself to be useful to you and would be in your debt. Nope. Don't care. Uh, gold for an extra holding slot. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it because we have enough money that that's like it seems like a good idea. We could actually build holdings here. Uh, castles, cities, or temples. Let's build some cities. Yeah, let's get some more money going. Right, there we are. Definitely coming to your feast again. Feasts are good. Get us a pinion. It's great. Right. Um, I introduced my, one of my friends to the King of Ireland and he didn't like them. Oh well. What a shame. Right. Um... What are we looking for next? I guess it's just the war in Gurgen as soon as this happens. There's a Gurgen revolt that we really, really do not care about. But 
It's interesting. Uh, actually, we might want to take that singular bit of land. I, I can't declare war on you. Why not? Do I have raised army levies? I'm in a non-aggression pact with you. No, I'm not. Wait, what? Why am I in a non-aggression pact with you? W what? Um, when did that happen? Oh, we automatically got entered into one. Ugh. Hate that. Okay, well, that's my punishment for not uh, paying attention. Right, we need a new advisor. New advisor's gonna be King of Wales. Cool. Who doesn't like us? Uh, King of Wales. There we are. Our nephew. Okay. Well, let's go improve opinion with them. Right. Uh, why doesn't he like us out of curiosity? Just in general? Just doesn't like us? We're, we're a foreigner. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Only been here like 200 years. We're a foreigner. Right. Um, we lost the game that we were having there at the feast. That's fine. And the crowding is over. Uh, yeah, what's up with epidemics? Smallpox? Smallpox. That's the only real thing around here. Okay, fine. Uh, we're going to ignore that one. Our threat level is still not at level we're, at, we're at happy with. Needs to just go a little bit more. A little bit more under. It's going to take like a year or two for us to be under the amount we need. Uh, can you be a shield maiden? No, because you have no good traits and you have a bad trait. Okay. You lack an education focus? It's going to be struggle. It always is struggle. Right. You have finished your education. You do not have a good trait, do you? Nope. No good traits. Right. We'll wait for the betrothal to come through. Uh, I guess we'll say yes. Right. And we'll keep doing going here. Translation house has been built in our hospital. Right, great. Uh, we actually don't have enough money to just waste on anything right now, so we'll leave it there. Threat level's almost there. Oh, there's a new person. You, you've randomly appeared out of nowhere. Um, I don't really want to attack them. Wait, did they take a singular bit of the land that we need? I think they did. They did. Oh no. That's annoying. It took one singular province. Okay, and then he joined the defense pact. Of course you joined the defense pact. A small gathering of friends? Of course I'll come. Yup. Um, my chancellor suggests it would be a benefit to the realm if I study language spoken at foreign courts. He, off he offers himself to aid me in my studies. We'd owe him a favor. Or if they can't speak Norse, they're not important. We'll go for that one. That's fine. We got no effect, which is generally good. Betrothed can marry? Uh, sure. Marry. Right. Um, we need a new commander. New commander is going to be the King of Wales. Right. Wait. How did you become independent of Scythiod? No. No, but how did you... We have regulated inheritance. A controlled regulated inheritance. Um... Illegal. Your vassal title inheritance is regulated to disallow a title to pass to another realm. Uh, excuse me? It might be because I haven't reloaded the game, but that seems weird that that did not count. Like, that that one went to another realm. Uh, what, what's the other ones that are likely to go away? That one may head to this guy who is in our realm. Okay. Uh, oh, but this guy's air is not necessarily in our realm. Okay. Well, that's annoying. That's that's another person we'll have to attack. Okay. Uh, are we below 50% yet? No, we're on 50%. So after this feast, we'll be ready to go. Right. Um, we won this uh, strategic battle. Great. Browsing is over. Okay. So. We are below 50%. We are ready to go. So. Let's, look, let's work it out. Gurgan is one that we need to attack. With Gurgan, we need to... Uh, we don't want to do a claim war. We want to liberate Kanji. 
Yes, because we want the revolt to lose before we do anything else. We could offer to join their war. Um, we could offer to uh, join their uh, war here against the revolt, beat up the revolt for them, the revolt war dies, then we can declare on them. Is the revolt winning is the question. 0% war score. No, okay, we'll attack Gurgan. We'll just attack Gurgan itself. So we're declaring our war. We're declaring to liberate uh, Otakin. Not Otakin, uh, Kanji. Yes. Cool. Next one that we're in is we're going to declare on Kochko. Kochko, we very much want to take uh, Holy War for Zetsu. Yes. Now we're going to declare on Saru. We can't declare on Saru. Why not? Why is that just not an option? Do we have a truce or something? No, we're just... It is not allowed. Thou shall not declare war on Saru. For Saru are not allowed to be declared war upon. Okay. Uh, and Scythiod. We need to declare for our province back. We can. Why not? We have a non-aggression pact. Can I break this non-aggression pact? No, because we're at war. I think. Yeah, because we're at war. We can't break it. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Right. We'll do our two wars. We'll do our two wars. Um, let's just make sure we get everybody who we can. Um, we're going to send this slot down to Kochko, I think. Like, everybody here just going to go down to Kochko. I mean, I know that raising those troops really doesn't add anything, but we'll send them down. I said we should probably send them up first. Um, over here, we're going to get all of these ones risen up. Right. There we go. It's so much easier now that I've learned what the hawk key is. We can't rise. Ireland just has no troops for us. Okay, that's fine. Um, there we are. Probably get rid of the 31, to be honest with you. And they can all head up to that corner. Cool. Let's see where everyone goes. A bunch of people are in these wars now. Which, a little bit of a problem, but not that big of a problem. Uh, you will get a martial education. Yeah. Okay. Um, everybody's kind of going over to the provinces. Great. Right. Uh, you have taken the Aldom of Wessex from Winchester. Doesn't really matter at all to me, I think. Yep. Okay. Here we go. We're going to salt that down. Right. Now we're going to go beat up the revolt. Wait, is that the army... That's, that's the actual army that they have. Okay. Wait, what What did we get? We got a city. Oh, that was the city we built there. Okay. Right. We'll give that away. Um, but I, what I was checking there was whether that was the revolt army or whether that was their actual army. That's their actual army. We're not going to go and attack it. That's fine. Because uh, we only want to kind of cripple the revolt. We don't want to cripple the actual thing, I think. Matters of life and death. With age comes wisdom, they say. Or at least it may change the questions we ask, you mutter to yourself. You have trouble sleeping lately. More often than not, while the rest of your court is sound asleep, you find yourself staring at the ceiling. You're getting older each day, closer to leaving this plane of existence. It's a folly to fear such things, of course. Yet you cannot keep these feelings at bay. Didn't you used to dream of grander things? What about carving your own path? What happened to your ambitions? You sit up straight in your bed. This is ridiculous. You're the ruler. You have people ready to serve you at your whim. Perhaps your counselors have ideas. If nothing else, it might ease your trouble sleeping. Um, let's summon the council. Let's, let's keep this event going. Half brother is um indulgent wastrel, and he's gonna be brave. The a meeting of the minds. Your council conv uh, convenes and faces you. And the faces of your advisors speak of confusion. Why are we here, my lord? It comes with a hint of concern. You sit down, and the suspense is almost tangible. As you leave the questions hanging in the air, finally you speak. Without disclosing much of your current nightly restlessness, you convey the message eloquently enough. I want to discuss the concept of life and death. 
and I want to look into everlasting life. They nod slowly. So what do you think? The spirit rises in the room as your counsellors start to talk, some hesitantly, some gesturing wildly. They all have ideas. Okay. Let's have a look here. Due to our high diplomacy skill, we can send our chancellor and we'll use his diplomatic ties and we'll send letters to all of his confidants. Eternal life is surely something of interest to many a noble and someone has to know something. Or, because of our high martial skill, which is higher, we can have our martial student arrange a realm-wide search for a person in possession of knowledge on the matter. He seems doubtful regarding the whole endeavor. Maybe a healthy dose of scepticism is just what the job requires. We'll use our marshal. Yeah, our marshal's really high, so hopefully that gets us something. Okay. Kill that army. Very nicely. Head down into Kochko and get what we're after. Don't think that Samoja might fancy me. Sure, we'll, we'll make a move. Uh, she spurned my subtle advances. Yup. Okay. I'm, I'm interested to see whether we get eternal life, to be honest with you. Here, we're going to assault it down. Uh, did we finish our siege up here? We did. Um, we're actually taking just a ton of attrition for sitting. Oh, we need to build a fort. Okay. Uh, build a fort. Why can we not siege that one down? Out of curiosity. Okay, we're just taking too much attrition up there. Assault that one down. Okay. Let's get the rest of our objective here. Uh, definitely torture that person in our prison. Assault, because it had no morale. Assault the next one. Alright, final one. We're not taking attrition anymore, but we also have hardly any men left. Oops. That's the problem with running multiple wars at once. You end up with problems like that happening. Right. We're building a whole bunch of stuff. Right. Couple days. Assault down. Assault down. Assault down. We have the war goal. Right. Kochko, we can get the rest of you down soon. Assault. Okay. Paying your passage. I'm not going to say I believe the stories, but may have picked on some promising information, my lord. Kitsuni says. However, we could do with some more supplies if we were to journey even further. In fact, I would like to send word to hire scouts in more certain distant regions if we are to follow the leads and continue this mission. He pauses at the door. His posture strained. Of course, there are many other ways to reach eternity, he sighs. When you opened your mouth to respond, indignantly, he interrupts you. I suppose the attitude comes with the job, Master. My apologies. Your marshal exits the room, his steps growing fainter as you consider your options. I'll, I will send word to the whole world if need be. I'll spruce up the armory, or perhaps he's right. Oh, we're going to spend all the money. Yeah. All the money is being spent. Right. See if we can get taking war score down here. Hopefully we can. Uh, we have no leaders. Uh, let's put on our bottom three leaders so that we don't clash with the other side, but at least we have leaders on. There we go. And you should have our best leaders. Uh, we're not leading. We're not leading. We're about to find eternal life. Eternal life is not something where we lead armies. Okay. Right. Uh, range betrothal between our brother-in-law and our half-sister, except, of course. Right. Um, up here. I guess we'll go beat up Gurgen's army. Right. My concubine is pregnant. Fantastic. Uh, we're not leader of the siege. Okay, next one, I guess. Right, over here. We can assault... Uh, we're not going to assault that. Well, we are going to sit here and siege it. This army is going to defeat that army. Perfect. I've lost my feelings for my concubine. We'll break off our love affair. Yeah, okay. Uh, 79%. Cool, we captured some prisoners. Let's go into the next province. Sieges are doing well in both areas. Okay. This is fine. Fine, there are some larger armies coming to fight us, but we can probably beat them. 100% war score. Right, this is the first one we're after. Enforce our demands. We've gotten Gurgen's lands. We can give them away. And there we go. Uh, we can give away that one. Uh, now we were after building castles in them. 
right? Yeah, build castles in these lands. Uh, we can't afford it. That's fine. We can we can build them in a minute. Head down here. I should have got most of the people out of the war that we didn't care about, which is the important bit. You lack an education focus. Give you uh, stewardship. There we go. A mystic appears. Your marshal Sunni looks lost for words. Master, I'm not sure what to think. He shakes his head as he searches for the correct fra way to phrase himself. My Falkir, she is impressive. I can't quite put my finger on it, not to mention she has travelled far. His face conveys uncertainty and he shifts his weight. I see, you say, scratching your head. Soon he breaks the silence. My lord, I can still send her away. What do you say? We'll hear her out. Let's see what happens. Uh, we had a son. Okay. Kajartan. We'll go with that. Uh, all right, yes, we still hold that tribe. That's fine. An intriguing encounter. Oh, okay. Uh, a, the tall figure offers you a nod, but does not smile. She eyes you skeptically, measuring you up as much as you are her. Her clothing, possibly intended to be modest, is foreign to you, and you have trouble concealing your confusion. In fact, the warrior woman before you is bound to stand out in your court in more ways than one. I am Kelia. You are Oystein. She says, as if someone had forgotten to introduce you. Perhaps you should have spoken the first words to assert your position, but the muscular woman makes you more than a little nervous. I hear you are looking to live forever, she says. More a statement than a question. I can help. I will accept your teachings. Eternal life must be mine. This is outrageous or blasphemy. Uh, of course, I will accept your teachings. Uh, okay. That's fine. Um, we're slowly, uh, discovering eternal life. Uh, we are actually going to have 100% war score here. Cool. Neat. I was worried we weren't going to have enough, but I think we'll have just enough to get 100%. Uh, they went and desieged our land. Th th this cannot be allowed to stand. Okay. A serious concern. Prince Tolier joins you after supper one evening. He initiates a conversation about the status of trade in the realm, but you notice he seems distraught. Uh, you interrupt Tolier and demand to know why he sought you out. My dearest father, I fear for your life, he says earnestly and seizes your hand. Who is the sacrilegious heathen that you have invited into your court? Her promises are sweet, I am certain, but she cannot be trusted. Please, father, allow me to find out her true motive before it is too late. Nonsense, I'm sure you're overreacting. It's better to be safe than sorry. You're right, how could I be so naive? No, you're, I'm sure you're overreacting. I will not take his advice. Right. A Jarl is a serp something from a Jarl. Okay, sure. Something. Right, keep going over here. Places are uh, fabricating claims in other places. In honor of the ancestors. Kelia sits on the floor when you enter the room. What well, looks like a polished pieces of bone strewn out in front of her, she motions for you to join her. You have neglected your spirit, she says, her eyes closed. You shift uncomfortably in your seat. I have not, you mumble. Oh, I have not, you mumble. Her eyes open at this and she stares at you, a steely cold look as you retract your statement. You must sacrifice, she declares. Very well, you reply, thinking you'll have learned. Uh, gacha cracker. Thinking you'll have learned. I'm, I'm not sure what that actually is. Is that... Gidja Cracker, see to it. Um, uh, I don't know. As if she could read your mind, Kalia shakes her head. Oh, you'll have your learned. Uh, right. That was what we we're missing. Learned Gidja Cracker. So that must be the name of our counselor. Yes. Okay. I was just like, what is this? This sentence didn't make sense. Anyway, that's it. Um, you must do this on your own. Do you see what I see? Do you know? You notice the pattern in the bones. It looks just like an antelope. Feel the crops. A man falling. Um, okay. I can perform the ritual using a barrel of finest grain. A man falling or an antelope. We'll go with an antelope. I guess. It's probably the most expensive option following default Crusader King's rules. If you don't know what the answer is, it's probably a more expensive one. Okay. Well... Uh, this guy's absurd some land. Okay. The Grateful Dead. Kelly, I hand you 
beautiful dagger, the antelope held down on a stone slab, is surprisingly calm. Thank you, you say quietly to the animal. You hesitate only a second before slicing its throat. The blood pours down the altar and Kalia nods sol solemnly. Your heart flutters at the notion of having pleased the statuesque creature. Character? Character. Actually, read what the word is. Your grandfathers and mothers would be proud, Callie announces. Thank you for having me do this. So we gain another marshal. Okay. Well, things are getting out of hand on the marshal side, but... You know, we might live forever. That's also good. Uh, not going to do any of that. Oh, we got here. Uh, we st oh, right. We still hold that one. We're making the other thing. That's fine. Right. We have killed that army. We're at 99%. We need to get the war goal, I think. Yeah. Uh, council position we'll put in Scotland. That's fine. Going to get the war goal back. And that should give us 100 there we go. 100%. For offer peace, enforce our demands. Right. Disband. Disband. That's our retinue. Good. Ask of help managing your titles. Definitely not. Uh, we can give these three away. No problem. We'll wait a day for the sieges to finish. Now we can make sure that we can give these all away. So give away the lower holdings first. Definitely. Give away more lower holdings. Give away more lower holdings. There we go. Uh, right. Now we'll give away the higher holdings. And give away this one. Yingvir will give the county of Ili. Uh, Burger will give the county of Zetsu. And Dain will give the county of Chu. There we go. Right. Thank you for watching. I'm going to end the episode here and I will see you next time.